Hello and welcome back to another video on what is currently the hottest day of the year. It's just about 34 degrees Celsius here now. Um, thankfully the sun has gone in for a moment so it's a bit cloudy but it's very sort of humid, very, very kind of, you know, like a thundery type of heat which is uh, it's not particularly pleasant but um, it's summer and we shouldn't knock it, you know, we should enjoy it. And... Um, I have got some boots here, but I just wanted to, in general, have a little bit of a chat as well about, you know, various things. Um, I think like a lot of people, I've been saddened in the last couple of weeks what's happened here in the UK. Um, you know, if you're not from the UK, you know, we've, we've had riots and all sorts and there's been a lot of really nasty things said on social media and I think that has incited a lot of this trouble and I'm not going to say for one moment it's the cause of it um, but you know um, the internet and social media if we did but realise is one of the most greatest invasion, in, inventions I think ever but it also has a very you know down negative side to it as well like we've just seen and um, thankfully, uh, I was brought up and um, went particularly to a sec well to a primary school and a secondary school, just purely state schools, nothing special. Um, and um, I was always at both those schools. I was always taught, you know, you don't judge you don't necessarily judge other people. Sure, you should have your own opinions about. The world and life and what's going on but you don't necessarily judge other people you respect other people and their views even if you don't go along with them or agree with them you still respect people greatly and you know I feel it's also easy um, online um, you know you can almost hide behind the online kind of scenario, you know, and um, really incite things and say things. And um, even on this little channel, you know, I've had to delete many comments because people don't think that men should wear tall boots or they don't think I should wear uh, leggings or whatever, you know, or they um, interpret because you're wearing something they try and interpret your sex, sexual orientation, which there again is totally wrong, you know. As I've said before, I'm totally straight in that sense of the word, but I have many, many wonderful gay friends out there, both female and male, and um, I don't want any comments, you know, detrimental that might offend them. Um, it water off the ducks back to me what people say you know I tend to leave the comments now and write my own little bit you know saying that we love everybody and I love everybody in the world and I haven't got a bone to pick with anybody um, so you know I wish you'd be the same and if you don't like what you see here don't watch it just walk away but it's obviously for some people it's not as easy as that um, so yeah, I've been greatly saddened by what's happened in in the UK. I think it, it's 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 woeful, really, and um, uh, I don't know the answer really. I think um, you know there's several fractions, you know, at the moment, maybe both left and right that aren't good, and you know are giving the wrong type of vibe out to people. And, um, you know, as I say, we should we should accept who we are and we should love everybody for who they are and, you know, put our differences aside. We should have differences and we should have difference of opinion. And um, but, you know, it shouldn't come to the fact that we start smashing things up or hurting people or whatever. Um, so, yeah, um, you know, a classic example here is I, I sit, I very, I very often still garden in what I class as, you know, speedo style swimming trunks as I have today, you know. Um, now, you know, no doubt I shall get called all sorts of things for coming on camera with a pair of these uh, style swimming trunks on saying, you're too old, you know, you're, you're this, you're that, you're everything. Uh, but why on earth? I've, I've, 
in, in when I was growing up in the 1960s, everybody wore these on the beach in the swimming pool. We had to wear this type of, even smallest type of trunks in our school swimming pool. You had to, it was, there was no, you know, um, you weren't labeled anything. It was just, you did it. Um, and I, I find it a very strange world out there that people want to label people because of what they wear or what they say. And um, they say we should be non-judgmental and um, accept everyone for what they are. So, um, yeah, that's my, that's my little thing about the world. And as I say, it's a pity we can't, you know, um, be non-judgmental and just love everybody uh, uh, in the world. Um, you know, it doesn't matter, um, you know, a jot to me, you know, where people come from, um, you know, um, their race, nationality, and it's just their say sexual orientation it just does not matter it's the person um, that is the important thing and um, we tend to forget that today I think anyway I said I'd got some boots to show you so let's get on I've had my I've had my little rant there haven't I um, and um, I, picked, I picked these rather nice brown boots up um, would you believe for, tw for 12 pounds um, locally this was um, in a charity shop and um, would you believe they are camel boots and that's like they've got the little logo I don't think you'll see that but it, perhaps if I show you come in and look at the bottom you might see that logo of the camel the same as on camel cigarettes and I think camel sponsored some mo motor racing a few years ago when they could still do that kind of thing didn't they um, a brand I've never heard of. I don't know who, I don't think Camel made them. I think they were made for Camel. And um, they were in my size. And I, I just like them. They're, they're very um, well worn and scratched, as you can see. So I thought I'd just explain what, I'm, what I've been doing with these. Um, to start with, I kind of wanted to keep some of that sort of antique -y look um, to the boot. You know, I quite like that. But then I didn't like, you know, there's quite a lot of, you know, colour differences there. Um, so as I was saying, all I'm basically doing with these camel boots that were bought for £12, bargain. Um, they are real leather and they've got a wonderful, um, it hardly looks like they've been worn to me. Um, but as I say, they are quite marked, quite scratched. So, so what do you do if you buy a pair of boots like this that have got a lot of marks on them? Well, what I do, I want to kind of try to keep that antique look, but I just would like to smarten them up a little bit. So I've got some just ordinary light tan um, shoe polish, which has gone very, <laughs> with the warm weather, it's gone very kind of melted. And um, all I'm going to do is just first of all as you can see rub that in and um, I'm not really going to buff it um, just just rub it over the marks there and um, put quite a liberal amount on and um, you will find that will cover um, you know just the color of that will color cover quite a bit of those scratches I mean you won't lose them all obviously because these have you know had some I think they've been probably bundled in a in a cupboard for many years and um, and then just go over them all like that and um, I mean you can even see they do they do begin to look slightly better and then what I do then is um, I've started this one and you'll see this one looks a good deal better already um, it's had the shoe polish. I've let that dry then just gone over it with a light duster not not buffed it at all and then um, What I like to use is this I've said this before on the channel. It's Renapure Which is like a leather dressing you can use this on saddles tack horse equipment leather settees um, It's ideal for shoes and boots. It's a non-color Hence, that's why we've used a little bit of the light tan shoe polish to start with. And um, this is more of a conditioner. And then I just liberally um, put this on. Now, it will 
if you use the Renner Pure, it does, you think, oh, that's going a bit shiny. I don't really like that. Well, don't worry too much about that. Um, it's a lovely day to be doing this because obviously there again, if this is wax, I think it's got quite a lot of beeswax and other, this, this has also got, um, um, I think it's, sandalwood scent so it's got quite a nice smell to it this has as well and um, and then the general idea is you want to do this and you're perhaps going to have to do this many times and as you can see what I will do then is just leave the boot to dry again and um, then obviously when that is dry and yeah I might put another coat on it I might put two or three more coats on it just depends how the depth of you know what I think how it's going and um, you see we've still got marks and scratches but it's it's giving it more of a tidy kind of an antique look a uh, boot look which is what I'm after here and um, so yeah it might be two, it might be three, it might be five or six coats of the Renopur and then just leave it, leave it overnight, leave it to dry, lightly buff it with a cloth, you know, with a duster or a bit of uh, cotton lint free type of cloth, um, anything could do really. And um, see what you think and then if you're happy with it, well that's it, you can call it a day. But I shall probably, um, it does, it does kind of bring up the depth back in the boot the more you put on of this and it'll do the leather good uh, so you know um, and obviously you can do what you can you can go over the buckles it doesn't matter you, can, you know it won't won't hurt them at all this won't um, not in the slightest best to applied with a little bit of a sponge I find and they do supply you actually when you get it with a couple of bits of sponge and um, so don't worry if you get too many bits get some bits on it that that you're gonna let it dry and then just lightly buff it over and um, those boots are really starting to come up as I say perhaps you'll see that's really starting to um, you know I'm getting that really nice smart kind of antique look it's not going to take all the scratches or marks or the different colorations away I'm not really after that I'm just you know wanting to smarten them up a bit so some very cheap 12 pound boots uh, when I've got them finished I mean this could take you know many days it could take me another week um, I will do a little video uh, you know styling them and show you when they're finished and um, style them with some um, outfit and we'll have a look at them you know when they're finished but what a bargain a pair of really good lovely in my view leather boots quite tall you know they come they're going to come up quite a fair way or you know um, um, there again, if, if you're not too happy wearing taller boots, just slip your trousers, you know, white flared trousers are back in, they tell me. Just pull your trousers over them and have wear boots that way. You can do that with tall boots if you like. Yeah, it does take quite a little bit of nerve and, you know, to go out, you know, into a town or city with something you've never worn before if you're not used to taller boots. But I, I can assure you, n nobody bothers, um, you know. You might think there's people looking at you, but you know, and, and to be honest, so what if they do? They're only perhaps admiring, thinking, oh, I wish I had some boots to wear like that. Um, and that's how I've always looked at it, um, as I say. So yeah, but these you could wear your trousers over or your trousers in doesn't really matter I, I would obviously show them off I would have my trousers you know perhaps have a quite a narrow leg trouser and wear them you know showing the whole boot they're such a lovely leather boot so there we go there's some cheap 12 pound camel boots uh, that we will come back and um, you know um, perhaps in two or three weeks time when I've got them finished and have a look at them styled with an outfit and um, uh, see how they come but I'm really pleased with how that's coming along and you can see how how that one was you know how different you know it's totally mismatched and so I'm just bringing a little bit more depth and colour all over the same and the Renner Pure will do that with the shoe by and also going over with the light tan shoe polish to start with there again you might want to do two coats of the light tan shoe polish let one coat thoroughly dry overnight and come back and if you're not happy put a little bit more on you won't you certainly won't hurt there again that that is only you know doing the 
the boots good it won't hurt the boots at all so um yeah and this runner pure is really good if you've got obviously if you've got faux leather boots you know you can do them with you know some household spray polish it won't hurt you know i mean but if you've got proper leather boots this runner pure i find is really excellent for feeding the leather keeping any boots you know waterproof it, particularly if you go out in the winter time when there's salt on pavements that's you know, a sure way of rotting boots out particularly you know around the the welted sole there and this renopure if you get a good layer of the renopure on it does really help that and stop that and will make the boots last you know um, much much longer so as always I thank you from the bottom of my heart for watching these videos and for allowing me to have a little bit of a rant on for a change <laughs> about something different and um, as I say we will come back and have a look at the camel boots and, and um, see how I get on you know Keep revamping them as so that's going to perhaps take me another certainly another week on those yet but until that point in time thanks for watching and as always my very best wishes and do take care and um, I'll catch up with you in another video very soon until that point in time bye for now